The circular walk is just under seven miles. It starts and finishes just outside Dalham, a quaint little village in Suffolk. It then meanders along the river to Moulton and up through the open landscape to Gaisley before heading back to Dalham. Dalham is in West Suffolk, not far from the Cambridgeshire border. The name is of Anglo-Saxon origin, meaning the village in a valley. And unsurprisingly, there's quite a lot of history here too. It is a pretty rural village with many of the cottages thatched using Norfolk reed or straw. In the heart of the village is the Affleck Arms, named after the 19th century Lord of the Manor, Lieutenant General Sir James Affleck. You leave the village following the River Kennet along the valley floor. On this bit of the route, you join the Icknield Way path for a short section. The whole Icknield Way is 110 miles from Ivanhoe Beacon in Buckinghamshire to Nettleshaw Heath here in Suffolk. Nestled through the woodlands you come to Moulton. It is a village that predates the Doomsday Book and is older than the neighbouring town of Newmarket. This route doesn't actually walk through the village but instead heads up past the church. St Peter's Church stands at the south of the village and overlooks the river valley. The interior is beautiful with medieval timbers and stained glass windows throughout. Leaving the churchyard out the back, head up through the boulevard of trees and onto the open landscape with views over to Ely on a good day. Local folklore say that the village of Gaisley is called that because it gazes over Ely. In fact, the name is of Anglo-Saxon origin, Gaislea. All Saints Church is a Grade 1 listed church, dating back to the early 14th century. It occupies a commanding position in the heart of the village. Right next door is the Checkers, a pub owned by Munson's Brewery that can often be found with a selection of food trucks outside. My personal favourite is the Greek one, called the Cook's Nest. After a refreshment, from here head out the back of the village and up into the woodlands around Dalham Hall Estate.
When you reach the road, take the path opposite. The present Church of St Mary took over six centuries to reach its current state and it is surrounded by ancient yew trees. Once you have explored the church and had a nosy at the hall over the wall, just meander back through the lanes and farmland to one of the most beautiful ancient woodlands before getting back to your car. Overall, I think this route is a stunner and one to do late afternoon in the spring when the woodlands will be alive and full of bluebells or in autumn to witness the leaves changing colour. It truly has something for everyone. Thank you for joining me on this walk and I look forward to sharing more with you soon.